What's going on, everybody? Y'all just bear with me here. I was trying to do something uh, a little bit different. I was going to try and use my laptop and my camera, but um, it, I couldn't get it to work. And I felt like the Lord, Lord wanted me to go live at 530. So we able to bit see some people log in. If not, I mean, people can always go back and watch the video. Pretty uh, quick on letting people know that I was going live, but it's all good. All right. Welcome uh, to the people that log in. Um, I do have a uh, small word tonight for the youth and uh, for anyone that watches and uh, hopefully the Lord will speak to you. You know, and you can, you know, feel the love of the Lord and, and you know, maybe God can guide you and, and you can just um, become more um, knowing of the character of God and who God is and, and his love. So um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pray and then I'm going to uh, get into the word. So, dear Heavenly Father, we give you all the honor and glory. We thank you, Lord, for your love and your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for just who you are. And I just pray, Holy Spirit, that you have your way tonight and that you can uh, not only speak to them, but to me as well, Lord, that you can speak to me as well and that you will just help me, Holy Spirit, to deliver this message tonight. Uh, we thank you and give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise God. I had turned the lights off in my room, so because last time I did a recording, my um, TV fan was uh, really bright in the recording. So, but hopefully, um, I can try to get things set up with my uh, laptop and going live with my laptop and my camera because I was wanting to use my little backdrop as well that I normally use um, in the youth sermon, sermons. But that's okay. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start off in Proverbs uh, chapter sixteen, verse. 24. I'm excited. Proverbs chapter 16, verse uh, 24. It reads this. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. I'm going to read that again. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I titled this uh, sermon called um, The Delight of Honey. It was pretty weird how uh, I got that word. But as I, as I was kind of praying, I kind of uh, heard, felt the Lord was saying delight. And then I was pray, uh, praying a little bit more and I felt honey. And just going back through the word and just looking up the scripture and stuff, this is kind of just what uh, I came to. But pleasant words are like honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. And I just want to say this. We, first of all, I just want to say that there is so much negativity in the world. So much negativity in the world. I, I know a lot of us can agree on, on that. The world is just, it, it's just, it's terrible. It's, it, it's just bad. And it's just, I mean, we don't even have to like even go outside doors we can see the uh, negativity anywhere i mean if we get on social media facebook instagram um twitter video games tv it doesn't matter where we're at or what we're doing somehow some way something just negative just bad it's just going to come and so what i want to do is just ask uh some of you who um just throughout this week, just think about it. Just think about the negativity. Just and I'm just like just talking about like I give you one, and I really did try to think of of uh, so far this week what negativity I have seen or came into account with, and I do try to really do my best to avoid negative and like uh, avoid just stuff like that. But you can't really just avoid it in the world. You can't just avoid negativity negativity it's just in the world but um this one and all all i could think of was one so far this week so i guess praise god on that but someone um someone uh calling someone names 
and talking bad about them. I have witnessed that this week of someone calling someone names and then talking bad about them. And that's very common in today's world. It's just it, it's just what it is today. It's terrible, but people would just think that's just how it is. That's just how the world is. That's just how the world's going to be. And the sad thing is, is a lot of people think that that's just how it is and, and that's how it's going to be. But that's the only one I can think of, and I really did try to think of more. But just think about it, throughout the week of, of the negativity that you have encountered with and whom you saw, call, like calling someone names, talking bad about someone, uh, knocking people's books down, um, just being a bully. It, it happens in today's time. There's so much negativity. And also, what I just want to ask you is, are you the one that's being the negative one. And I know that's a that's a pretty uh, tough spot right there. But sometimes, you know, and the Bible says that we, we gotta we do gotta check ourselves. And the Bible talks about the examining ourselves. Are we the one that's causing the negativity? Are we the one being negative? So but what I wanna talk about tonight, it's like I said, the delight of honey is honey. It's pleasant words or like a honeycomb, sweetness to, to the soul and health to the bones. You know, Jesus talks about us being the light of the world. There's a quote, and it's been quoted before a lot of times, and it's pretty popular. And it, it's, be the change you want to see in the world. I don't know who wrote it. I didn't Google it. I just remembered it when I was writing the sermon. But be the change you want to see in the world. And Jesus talks about us being the light in the world. And I'm going to get to Let's just go ahead because that is my next scripture, scripture up. But folks, there really is so much negativity in, in the world. There really is just so much just doom and gloom and, and just everything. And the world needs just a freshness of just just joy and just peace and God wants to work through us to show his love and show his kindness let's read it right here Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a lamp stay and it gives light to all who are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You know, folks, the most important thing that we want to do is make sure people are seeing Christ in us and that they're seeing Jesus through us. And that's what God has called us to do. And that scripture I was reading in Proverbs chapter 16, talking about honey and pleasant words, I want to read a scripture. I want to read a scripture, and I got to flip to it because I don't have my sticky notes. In Proverbs. Now we read Proverbs uh, sixteen twenty four, pleasant words, pleasant words, are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. When someone, oh, I'm gonna just go ahead and read it. Proverbs, it's just one page over. Proverbs fifteen twenty three, the poor. Uh, no, 24. Gotta turn back. My bad. Not forward. Proverbs 15, 24. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth. And a word spoken in due season. How good is it? What I want to talk about there is just being kind and showing kindness and showing love to other people out there in this negative world. And what I want to talk about is at the right time and at the right moment, we see it all the time. You can see it in schools. I work at a school right now. And as kids, it goes up to eighth grade. It's a private Christian school. And what I would just, it's just talking about how the words, um, uh, honey, are like honey, pleasant words are like honey. What can be pleasant like honey is a word spoken at the right time. And what I'm talking about is just when you see someone, a bully, knocks someone, knocks someone else's books on the ground. 
and then you and afterwards you go up to them and you start helping them pick the books up and you tell them don't worry about it and you tell them it's gonna be okay and you just be kind and you just be passionate and that's just honey that's words that's like honeycomb that's just like sweet to the soul that's when you see someone when you see someone telling someone else they're ugly and and it just it hurts their day and it, it just they say your shirt looks dumb it looks stupid your shoes look stupid you know it, you, it that kind of stuff happens in today's time where where it just when people it, what, your parents can't afford you anything it's terrible but that kind of stuff happens all the time and the truth of the matter of fact is that's where people get depressed that's where people start to I'm um, just just speak the truth of where people start you know, cutting themselves and and suicides happen, and we have got to be you know if you have Christ in you, then you have the light of the world because Jesus lives in you, and it's just letting him out, and them opportunities do come when I mean you just don't <laughs> you could just go throughout the day, you know even if you're at school and you see stuff like that happen. And you're there at the right time and you see someone doing something to someone else or just any kind of negativity. It doesn't have to just be about books getting knocked down. I even um I even wrote some down. Okay. I already said one. Um number two, so just someone having a stressful day. They just had it and they had just had a bad day. They just, their day was just all terrible. What we can do is we can just go up there and just encourage them and just lift them up and just say, hey, I like your shirt or, you know, um, hey, or I'm praying for you or, or just help them with something. That makes their day. And that's just honey. That's pleasant words. That's pleasant character. That's pleasant action right there. And that up, uplifts someone up. Or like I said about someone's, someone else knocking someone's books on the ground. And you go up there. You help them up. You tell them, look, everything's going to be okay. That's pleasant words. That's sweet to the soul. And that is a word um, spoken, what it says in due season, but at the right time. That is just the delight of honey. Delight, I looked it up, I Googled it. Delight really means just just to give pleasure, just to please someone, just to help them out. And God wants us to delight ourselves in him so that we can delight to others and be a delight to others as well. Delight, the delight of honey, the pleasure of honey, the pleasure of a right words spoken at the right moment. And that's what God wants us to do. And it happens. Negativity it happens in today's time. It's it's terrible. Um, it's just right there at the right time. Um, just tell someone, you know what, folks? It's just, it is at the right time, at the right moment. But you, we really don't have to wait for it, honestly. We can just naturally just tell people, hey, I like your hair, I like your smile, I like your shirt, you know, I like you, just do it. And that's what God wants us to do. And honestly, folks, that's just showing the love of God. That's just showing kindness that's just showing love and those opportunities do come but we're bringing by doing that the most important thing by doing that is we're bringing the love of god to someone we're bringing god to them by by and they're they're seeing jesus and they'll notice and see that something is different about us and that's what god wants us to do it's in and by doing that we're bringing peace we're bringing joy. We're bringing the, the, the peace of God. We're bringing the joy, the comfort. It doesn't come from us, but it comes from God. But we're letting God use us to do that. And that kind of, I mean, another thing is I, I thought of was just, look, this kind of stuff happened to me 
when I was in school and I was always really embarrassed just when you spill something on your pants or your jeans, you know, that kind of stuff happens in school. And I, I would always get embarrassed if I spilled something on my pants or something. And because I was afraid of someone, you know, making fun of me. And, you know, I've had that kind of stuff happen to me. But even if people would have picked on me and stuff, it would have been nice to have someone come up behind and just to share an encouraging word with me. And just like what it says um, that a man uh, has joy by the answer of his mouth and a word spoken in due season, how good is it? It, it, it cannot be more encouraging than when something happens to you negative and then someone comes up and just and just be encouraging to you and that just shows the love of Christ and that is uh, what Proverbs 16 is talking about pleasant words are like a honeycomb and sweetness to the soul that is that really is sweetness to the soul when someone picks on you or messes with you and you just have it's just terrible and then someone comes up behind you and just say hey it's okay and they pick your books up, they help you pick your books up, or they encourage you. That That's really, truly what it's about. That's showing the love of Christ, and that's what we have to do in order to show Jesus to other people. So that's the word tonight. It's just really just encouraging others, and when we see negative stuff happen, we can go up behind there and just be the light of the world. And that's what Jesus called us to be, to be a light in the darkness, because that darkness is all around. But we want to show, share Jesus with other people. And when those opportunities come up to rise, when you see something bad happen, hey, that's an opportunity for me to come up. You know, it, it just, even if you're at a store and someone just drops something on the ground, you know, or someone that's having trouble there in a wheelchair, you know, and they can't pick it up. We are to, you know, if we see that, to go out. I actually did that. I was with a couple of friends of mine at a, at a store. And this lady, um, she was um, she was in a wheelchair. Not a wheelchair, but she couldn't. She was in a walking. She had a walking stick. And uh, someone had a car and it was pulling up and she was going to get in. But I absolutely just stood right there and waited, just waited to see if if she would get in, you know, if she needed help. And that's just... You know, that's just, she got in, she didn't need my help, but that was me. That was, I was wanting to, to help, you know, I was at Academy and I, I got the two opportunity to, to pray for someone up there who was in a wheelchair, you know, because I, I felt led by the Holy Spirit, but I was there, I saw it and I, I prayed for them and I was, I, he, he got, he, the person got teary eyed and that's, that's pleasant words. That's like a honeycomb. That's sweetness to the soul. That's health to the bones. That is a word spoken in due season. How good is it? That is what that is. If we can just be a light in this dark world and share the love of Jesus, that opportunities like that, that gives us opportunity. When stuff like that happens, that's opportunities for us to do that. So I love y'all. And uh, y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. That's the word. Uh, it's not a long word, but it, I feel like that's what the Lord has given it to me. And I pray that we can just be leaders out there and just share Jesus um, out there. It doesn't have to be a huge, humongous thing. Just the smallest little things is what counts. And God sees that. It doesn't matter. Even if someone drops a pencil at school, you could pick it up. You know, especially if it's, if it's like your enemy. But I love y'all and y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. I hope this has encouraged y'all. Um, I wish I could have got things working with my laptop. But uh, I'll try messing with it when I get the time to see um, if I can get it. So love y'all and y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.